Sniper to get cameo in the UI video. <laughs> uh, maybe. Johnny. I do not consent. I do not consent. I don't consent. Well, that's a shame. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> I smell an intro. <laughs> Hello! The Isle of Man's been living without restriction for quite some time, so I didn't want to take the bike off the road. But when Big Howie announced a three week circuit breaker lockdown, I knew it was time to get the frame off to the powder coaters. I've never been a fan of the sandy colour KTM went with back in the day, and being 16 years old, she was starting to show her age. So let's get it stripped down. Now the powder coater had said uh, a lot of people had had the same idea, so he'd been inundated with work and it was probably going to take three weeks for me to get the frame back. But that was alright, gave me plenty of time for a deep clean. And first up, I wanted to try soda blasting the engine. I'd seen online of a few DIY setups and I thought, you know what, I've got the equipment to do that, let's give it a go. Success. Frame was done earlier than expected. Get in there.
Here's a little tip for cleaning bolts. You sort of do with anything that's not super short or too big to go in your drill. Obviously, stick it in the drill, spin it around. That was a bit of emery paper there. Then I'll go over it with Scotch pad just to get rid of a lot of the shite. It's not going to come back factory, but I also don't want to take too much material off. Otherwise, it's going to wobble around. And these are engine mounts, so I'd prefer them to be a bit snug. Of course, the important bit is the thread. So we'll take it out of the drill. We'll find a socket that is the right size for the head, and this works for Allen's, hexes, whatever. Stick it on an impact driver and pretty much do exactly the same thing. Great way to clean up threads, really quick and easy, and realistically, they're the important bit. The rest is just to stop them getting seized in with their rusty growth. Yeah, top tip, really handy. And as you can see, dead quick and just gets rid of a lot of the crap.
Well, as much as I love Supermoto trim, it did not look like this for very long. Now, being winter, we've got the dirt wheels on and I've been doing a lot of off-roading recently, which unfortunately means that a lot of the deep cleaning work has been undone because there's mud in places there is no business. It's been dropped, it's been scratched, it's been crashed. It's not super pretty. Well, that's why I didn't put new plastics on it yet. You can see I got a good coat in the mud on there on Sunday. Look at those black cases. Can't really see through them anymore. And we did get out on the snow as well, which uh, had the benefit of covering everything in road salt when we got to the treated roads. But it's been out, it's been fun, and there's been plenty of action. But that oh. is for another video, and we'll see you there.